What's cracking, y'all? B-Boy Sambo here, fresh out the box with a new tutorial for you guys. And today in this tutorial, we're gonna be covering the halos. Now, before you start with doing halos, make sure you can do a good windmill, all right? And don't with me. Because a lot of you guys out there probably are not doing good windmills yet, and you're already skipping to halos, it's not gonna work. So the first step is really similar to the first step of the windmill. You're gonna hit your baby freeze and create a 90 to 180 degrees rotation while sliding with your head against the floor. This is to create momentum, speed, and velocity. It will also make sure that your halo is in a proper circle instead of traveling and then falling off stage. The difference between a windmill and a halo is actually that you execute this more in like a halo freeze or a hong ten position. If you can do a proper windmill, then I bet you can already do this. So let's forget step one for a minute, because step two is a whole different exercise by itself, and it's best to practice this separate for a while until you manage to master it. So with step two, you want to hit the halo freeze without any rotation. From here, you want to push yourself up into a headstand. Now this is a tricky part. The transition has to be executed to the back of your head. And that's what makes the step really hard. This is not what you want to be doing. If you can't windmill, but you've been watching this tutorial up to now, you are absolutely wasting your time. Now in order to make this step easier, I have a few tricks. Use the leg pump and push yourself up to your head. This can help while training step two. You can't use this when you're doing a full halo later. After a while, you should try to combine step one and step two. But I'm already gonna tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. Now this is the very moment where a lot of people make mistakes. A lot of people do the baby freeze, push off, do a full rotation and then try and land straight into the baby freeze. Even though you almost don't see it, the headstand is a really important moment in your halo. After a few practices, you should start feeling the flow. So what you want to do now is actually catch the headstand, but you want to do this with one hand. Just make sure you keep looking for that floor behind you and not in front of you. So even though you catch that headstand with one hand, what you want to do now is you want to place the other hand as soon as you can to connect back to that first step, sliding with your head over the floor. If you manage to connect these dots, you have just discovered the road to multiple halos. Knowing how to do like a head spin and a windmill and combining these moves will give you like a massive advantage on doing halos. So if you don't know how to do these yet, just check my YouTube account or my website for these tutorials. If you're starting to get that first halo, I really recommend you to actually combine it with windmill. Try stuff like this. Windmill, halo, windmill. Or after that, you wanna go from a windmill to like two halos and then back to the windmill. And then you wanna do the same with three halos. You wanna go windmill, three halos, and then windmill. And then just keep pushing, pushing, pushing more and more. The good thing about this is you're actually gonna learn how to use your halo in a combination. So you might just like start using it for battles or like showcases or whatever you wanna use it for. Don't practice your halos on like carpet, mats, any surface that isn't really smooth. Like you want to avoid that, all right? Especially like mats and stuff because then it's going to give you a lot of like neck pressure and stuff like that. Try also to wear like a beanie as much as you can because doing a lot of halos could mess up your hair. Get a really good warm up before you start practicing your halos. The halo is really, really heavy on like neck, shoulders, wrists, and even like groin. So if you haven't warmed up and you're starting to do like crazy halos, then you know you might just injure yourself and this might just cost you a lot of time and might change your future. Back to the future! So 
so I hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial. Don't forget to show this to your friends. And if you teach kids, show them this video. It's going to help you a lot. For many other tutorials, just go and visit my website or just check out my YouTube channel for new videos and updates. Now, let me just add this that I absolutely don't care about likes or subscribers or thumbs up or the whole shebang. But YouTube does have me by the balls because the more you guys react to all these videos, the more exposure it gets. So if you want to help me out, you know, from brother to brother, from b-boy to b-boy, yeah. from good guy to good guy, you know, you just hit them random comments like X, Y, Y, Z. Enter and then more and then just hit some of those comments so we can get this video to the top so we can get rid of all those crappy other tutorials there are out there. All right. Never quit. Keep training, peace, and I'll see you in like one minute on my next tutorial. Peace.